for this next pour um, I'm going to use the cup where I did before the one that has a hole in it with a bit of tape on it to help the floor okay so I'm just going to do a little bit of paint really because I don't want to use too much so I'll go for There's 8 grams there. I know a lot of you don't use the um, scales for this. I just find it easy myself. You can use your own methods, obviously. Now I'm going to add about 4 ounces of my odd bodge. Sorry, 4 grams of my odd bodge. Which will take me up to 12. Or 13 <laughs> in my case. I'll just give that a, a mix up. Right, what I'm going to do now, um, can you see this? At the MPG, I've got, I put that in a separate bottle. So it's messing about with a, a 5 litre tub. So what I'm going to do with this... I'm going to put in about... Let's see... 1, 2, 3... 4 drops of it. 6... Six drops of it, so I don't know if this will work, but it's all experimental anyway. So, right, so what I want to do now, I want to add some water. I've had about five grams of water in there. I actually wanted to mix the MPG in with the paint, but it, it doesn't matter, it still, it still gets mixed up in the same. Okay, if again I'm off the camera. Uh, that may be a little, just a tiny little bit too thick. I just had a a little bit more water. Now that is all mixed well. Trying to get so you can see. Awkward, but yeah, so it's just a, like a drip consistency, like a cream, if you will. Right, I'll zero that. I'll pick another colour, which will be... This one. You don't actually say the colours on these paints, they just have numbers on. PNTA 109. What's it? Carmine. Carmine, actually. These uh, paints are fairly new as well. I've never really used them before. even took this silver paper off. Do you know the silver stuff what's inside? What well, doesn't come off too easily. That's the one. And then you get your fingers full of it. Never to mind. So put the scale back on. 
Uh, so again, I'll go for around eight. Eight. Then I'll have round of eight four of the odd bodge. Then we're going to have the MPG now. Six drops of that. I'll give that a stir. That's all thoroughly mixed. I'll add enough water for the right consistency, which is probably about 5ml, I should say, or 5ml to start with. Ooh, still a little thick is that. I don't know if you can see that. Still very thick. So I'll add a bit more water. Each prints have different thicknesses. So as long as you stick with your you know your initial say eight mils of eight well sorry it's eight grams on this. 8 grams of paint, 4 of me odd budge is, you know, it should be somewhere there. So your water will never be consistent, you're always going to add more or less than some. Because as you know, some paints are thinner than normal, than the usual ones. That's still a little bit thick. I did once use some orange and it was so thin, it was just ridiculous, it oddly needed any water. It's still a little bit thick. Uh, well, I have more paint to play with. That's about right now. So I'll carry on mixing the colours because I don't want you to bore you with that too much and I don't want to tell you the story of my life. I don't know if anybody would be interested but nope. I'd steak for tea. Yep. <laughs> That's about interesting my life is. Just a note. Um, I'm putting some copper in and as you can see this is it's very near the end there's nothing coming out so what I have is this I don't know if you've ever seen them the, what you see is her hairdressers and what you do they basically for squeezing like the colours out of these tubes you know I get the last bit that's what I do so that he gets all the extra little bits out Hello. So I'm almost near my eight grams now instead of my three. That's just took it over slightly. It's took it over to 
12 but at least I've I can use it up after at least I've got a, another 9 grams out of it than what I would have done if I'd spawn it so the colours are almost the colours are yellow that's all it says just bought from the pound shop and there's this one which is a dark copper that is also from the pound shop then we have this one's called Crafter's Choice and that's bought from um, the works in the UK so the colours we've got here is Carmine Burnt Sienna and Seashell Pink so I'm also going to use uh, some white These, that's the um, titanium white uh, from Ortina so I'll be adding some of that along it okay. so this is the second CD that I'm using with the homemade odd budge on it I've just got number two on it because I put a bit more um, plaster into this one uh, I don't know if people keep wondering why I'm using CDs it's just a basically it's just fans um, and just struggling a little bit at the moment so you use what you've got really so anyway enough of that so I've put the cup on with the hole in it and the tape on so I've just put a touch of silicone in each one of these I suggest you use a ventilated room like I am at the moment fortunately I've got the fan on in the background because it's very warm in here tonight so I'll put that over here out of the way I think what I'll do I'll start with the white base In fact, I'll just put a little bit of white in there, and I'll have the seashell pink, wherever it were, into there. Then I think I'll go for the burnt sienna. And go for the yellow. The carmine red. And the copper. I shall finish off with a bit of um, white. Whoop. I don't want to put too much in if I can help it. Just give it a bit of a stir. I'll flip it. Just leave it for a few seconds. I'll take the tape off. It should, should get the air flowing. It looks like it is because it's come out around the sides. Okay, we'll leave that a couple of seconds. 
Okay, now I'll flip. Sorry, I'm blowing on it again, it, which uh, sometimes gets cells up when you use silicone. As you see there. I expect to see a lot of people blowing on the uh, pores from now on. <laughs> I shall leave it to try and find its own level. Um, we'll go on the time lapse and I will be moving it sometime along. <laughs> <laughs> 